Hi, Andrew Wood here with Linda Pirelli at the beautiful Happy Horse Haven in Williston, Florida, which is very close to the World Equestrian Center in Ocala, Florida. Obviously a famous area for horses, and I'm with the world's most famous horse teacher. <laughs> Linda, yeah, a lot of people are asking, why is your new curriculum, How to Talk Horse, so much more effective than anything you've done in the past or anything else that's out there? Well, I've spent 30 years in this industry and most of my focus was on how to teach concepts and make them simple. But there were glaring holes in the things that we were doing because we were very much focused on techniques and you know what you need to do. So with my new program, what I'm doing is focusing on the horse. How do you make your horse happy? How do you solve those problems that you've been plagued by for years? And the most important thing is knowing what the root of the problem is. And once you know that, you can fix things very quickly and then you can make progress. But a lot of people don't make progress because they're still dealing with frustrations and problems that remain unsolved. So a lot of people are out there solving the wrong problem, not asking the right questions. Right. They don't know the root of it. So it's like, you know, if, if you think a horse is doing something because it's scared, then you're going to use tactics that help reduce the fear. But a lot of people don't know it's scared. They think it's disobedient. So then they use more force. They use more restriction. They use more coercion. Even nice people, even I used to do things like that until I learned more about horse psychology. So the new program, How to Talk Horse, is more about getting into the horse's head, about the psychology of how the horse is thinking and how the horse is reacting to the riders. Is that exactly. Correct? Yeah, exactly. And, you know, when you say get into the horse's head, Yes, you want to get to their mind, but the language is the most important thing because, you know, it's like if you were speaking Chinese and I speak English and I ask you a question and you don't understand because I'm, I don't speak Chinese, if I yell at you and raise my voice, that's not going to make you understand anything better. But that's what we do with horses. We go, oh, the horse isn't listening or he's disobedient or he's distracted. And then we use more force. Yeah, that's what a lot of American tourists do in Spain. When, they, <laughs> when the person doesn't understand them, they, they shout they louder. louder. I know. <laughs> don't you speak English? I know. Uh, no, actually, I, I don't. <laughs> it's very human. Yeah. So it's a very human thing. So, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, I was just down in uh, Naples with a good friend of mine, Bobby Clampett, who's a famous golf instructor, mm -hmm. at same level as you, a world-class guy. Uh, and we were joking, or not joking, but I was saying, you know, I have a lot of friends who are watching stuff on YouTube. They're buying golf books. They've been to golf schools. They've taken lessons from this famous instructor and that famous instructor. Despite all of this, they don't get any better. Why is that? And he 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 laughed. He started laughing. We both started laughing. Why don't they get better? Because they're focused on the wrong thing. Yeah. In that's my what we said. world, that's yeah. What we said. yeah. It's focused on the wrong thing. You know, we think about techniques instead of behavior. Why is the horse behaving like this? I mean, I used to think I was a good rider because I could pretty much stay on my horse no matter what he did. Mm. But if you ask my horse, he would have said I was a terrible rider because I'm stuck to him, but I'm not communicating and I'm not, I'm not helping him have a better experience with me as a rider. You're tense, he's tense. Yeah. But because you're getting him to more or less do what you want, people think they're good. Yeah, right. exactly. I right. did. Right. You know, but I was frustrated, but everybody was frustrated. So you think that's the norm, mm -hmm. but it shouldn't be like that at all. And it doesn't have to be like that, but we're focused on the wrong thing. So one of the things, I mean, I know I've been, uh, talked to a few of the people who have been to some of your recent clinics and they're just astonished with how rapidly they suddenly see uh, major improvement in their uh, connection and relationship with their horse. Um, I was shocked too. <laughs> Because when I was thinking about how do I develop a new program, um, what am I going to do? Like what hasn't been done that's, you know, already out there? And I helped create one of the best programs there was, but there were gaping holes. And so I realized that when I was teaching, I was filling all those holes. And so I created my program out of that. And the cornerstone of it all is connection. You said the word, it's connection. Most people are getting on their horses or doing things with their horses. It's absolutely no connection whatsoever. It's like going up to a stranger and going, come on, come over here and now do this with me. The people are going to go, oh, wait a minute. How about hello and who are you? And let's get to know each other a little bit. And people think because they own the horse, they can just do whatever they want. And I'm not saying that people are um, deliberately callous about it, but that's kind of how we are. The attitude. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. own him. 
therefore he should behave. Right, he should do what I want. And do what I want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's interesting. And some horses have a very different idea. And you know what's really interesting too is that when you hear people say, oh, I have the perfect dog or the perfect horse, when you ask them to describe it, those animals are kind of mindless. They're just there like, yeah, whatever you want to do, I'll do it for you. I'll do it with you. You know, there's no interaction. There's no magic, you know, and there's no spark to it. It's just they're perfectly well behaved. To me, that's so boring. Yeah. And it's almost like those animals have a lobotomy. They just like don't have any opinions, you know. Great. Well, there it is. Check out the How to Talk Horse curriculum. It is the world's best horse training program, and you will see rapid, rapid results. Thank you, Linda. Thank you too, Andrew.